Hello, San Dimas. No, it's not Bill and Ted. I've got another unboxing, and it's some retro game stuff uh, which I bought online. And I'm just holding the box open. I've opened the end of the box already, so that you know it's just it's just easier. Um, otherwise, you'd spend time watching me open the side of a box and cut open cellulite. Um, but I'm just doing it carefully so I don't show my address on the front and their address on the back. Um, what do we have here? Oh yes, this is from a chap called Matthew Utley. Some ZX Spectrum games. I had a ZX Spectrum back in the day, loved it. Sold it some years later. God, must have been eighty nine, ninety. Oh no, maybe a bit later. I can't remember now. But for forty quid, including a ton of games. Why did I do that? Anyway. ZX Spectrum Next is coming soon, and I've backed that on Kickstarter, so yeah, that's all good. So, we've got three things here, and the first thing has no cover. What's all that about? It's because that's how it came. That's how the game originally comes. I just didn't think uh, that could be a thing, but um, what do we have inside it? Da da da, -da The Hobbit! brilliant game uh, you can quickly die in that if you uh, you start the game you're in your home and you tell it to climb into the chest and then tell Gandalf to close the chest and then it's dark and you can't see anything you can't do anything and you tell Gandalf to open the chest and it says what because it's dark it can't see Gandalf so he's not there to ask it was a bit stupid and then all you can do is quit out the game the only other thing I did on a regular basis was try and annoy uh, Thorin. Uh, you type kill Thorin and Thorin would cleave your skull and you would die. Um, also frequently Thorin would sit down and start singing about gold. So there's the tape inside there. So Dominic, why are you buying a Zenic Spectrum when you don't have a game when you don't have the Zenic Spectrum? Well the next is coming next year and um, I love ZX Spectrum stuff. Don't judge me. And on the back, it's black again. Black once again, like the Renegade Master. And da -da 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 -da. congratulations, you're about to play the most sophisticated pro game program yet devised for any microcomputer. And it pretty much was at the time, actually, as well. It was very clever the way they passed the it passed the um, the text that you typed in. Uh, you probably can't read that on here, so I don't know why I'm bothering showing it, but... Communicating with the computer, the screen display, general concepts for the Hobbit adventure. Da, 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 da. The rules of English, I-N-G-L-I-S-H, um, and so on and so forth. And, yeah, and that is how the game originally came. Very smart. The Hobbit. Later on I had that for the BBC Model B as well. I went through a, you know, a time with that. I had the game for the Spectrum and I bought the Model B, BBC. For some reason I decided to spend a tenner on a load of games as well. In fact, The Hobbit was the only game I ever came across on the BBC Model B, which you could uh, press break, which would normally reset the machine, and it wouldn't do anything. It wouldn't reset the machine, it was amazing. Ah, what a time to be alive, eh? The other thing uh, we got is, and that's a little bit cheaper because um, it's, the, he said the quality of the box wasn't fantastic, but Afterburner, like one of the most amazing arcade games ever made. Not quite as the same <coughs> on the uh, Spectrum, obviously, but um, never would be, but you know, especially when you're in the arcade machine and it's the, uh, God, what's it called? The one that throws you around anyway. It's uh, it's always good fun to play. Um, Centrifugal Force, was it? What would you call that? I don't know. Um, I know they have them around at the Play Expo uh, events. Next one being Manchester in 15th and 16th of October, I think. And, oh, brilliant fun. I recommend you go. It's at uh, Event City, next to the Trafford Centre. <coughs> brilliant fun. Anyway, Afterburner. Uh, in the back... 
That's the box on the back. This is from. I didn't say what year it's from. Hmm. I like how the um, screens it gives you are for Amiga and Atari ST, not the Spectrum, <coughs> which is slightly different, obviously. Um, anyway, there we go. Have uh, afterburner, Ooh. afterburner, and. Same again on the back, presumably. Is that, oh, that going to go out of focus? Who knows? Uh, anyway, it says after burner, the logo in the middle, and yeah, Activision ZX Spectrum 48K, 128K, plus and plus two. 1988, this one. And I'm quite sure why there's two cassette things in there, but never mind. Mission Brief, Mission, Mission Briefing, Confidential. And we've got, ooh, we've got a huge booklet here. Loads of stuff. Let's see, well, it's, oh, it's in several languages, that's why. Um, ba, 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 ba. After burn a player's guide loading the game. Pretty much standard if you knew how to play as an Spectrum game. Notice to cassette on disk gate users. Um, in fact, it, it covered the Commodore 64, Amstrad, Atari ST, everything basically. So. It just, it was one booklet for every version of the game. Uh, keyboard controls, if you had an MSX even. I've seen those at the uh, Play Expo, and those are always good to have a blast on. So I've never actually owned one, so it's good to sort of have a, a go on something. So then we have the whole, we have the whole, you know, we've got, yeah, um, instructions, have a load. Options, difficulties, well, no, loading difficulties rather. Um, would help if I actually moved it closer, wouldn't it? Uh, Logitech view cam. Are you any good for me today? Ooh. Um, rolling your F14. Cannons, lock on indicator, warning lights, refueling, bonus lives, high score table, and other stuff. Yeah, keyboard controls there on the right. And <coughs> that's the coders. And then we have the same thing in French and then German. And that rounds out the whole debris. After burner. <coughs> Last but not least, we have. Platoon, the first casualty of war is innocence. Fantastic Oliver Stone film. And it's an 18, is it an 18? Or is it, no, it's 15. Yes, yeah, 15, because BBFC liked Oliver Stone. So it's got 18 certificate kind of violence and content, but they gave it 15 because they like Oliver Stone. Meanwhile, um, Full Metal Jacket is more of 15, but they didn't like Kubrick. Stanley Kubrick, for those not in the know, so they gave Full Metal Jacket an 18. Whereas it should be more of 15. Anyway. So it's a big, 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 big box. And this is from 86. It's pretty much around the same time the game was out, obviously. A uh, film, rather. It's a brilliant film if you've not seen it. So lots of screenshots there. Close up. Probably going out of focus, this stupid camera. <coughs> now there's quite a lot of stuff in this. A shot of the cast. Tom Berenger, Charlie Sheen, before all his troubles. Um, 300 chances to win your own video of Platoon. For Oscar winner, you have to see on video or Blu ray now, as it always is. <coughs> Sorry, so tell us in no more than 25 words what Platoon means to you. Fill in the coupon below. So fill that coupon in, print it out, send it off to Ocean. Oh, no, sorry, send it off to RCA Columbia Pictures. Um, oh, it's a, it's 
gone past a date. The closing date was 14th of March, 1988. So it's not bad, actually. That's, you know, a year and a half, two years after the film came out, after the game came out, even. So, um, yeah, so that's that. And we have a instruction manual. Amstrad Commodore and Spectrum. So, like the Afterburner, one just covering all bases, basically. Uh, and then what you had to do. I remember playing this game back in the day, but I will have to have a proper go at it again. Control states and scoring, hints and tips. Shoot all the bad guys, presumably. Tunnel network, controls. <coughs> Talking of tunnels, crossrail. What on earth are they going to do when um, crossrail collides or you know, falls apart and collapses into the London Underground? Be a bit stuck there, won't they? Status and scoring again, the bunker. More hints and tips. Hmm. More controls. This seems to be repeating itself a bit. I'm not had a proper read of it. Maybe it's maybe there's reasons for that, but anyway. And the software product has been carefully developed and manufactured to the highest quality standards. Please read carefully the instructions for loading. In capitals in the middle there. If you, for any reason, you have difficulty in running the program, believe the product is detect defective, detective, defective. Well, I take it back to the shop. You know, that's what you do these days. The, these back then, the shops didn't want to know, especially if you bought it from Boots and Stockport, and there was some absolute bastard on the till who had a moustache. Uh, right, Flash Harry. Um, he's probably he's probably like, right retired now. He's certainly not there long after. For there like a year or two. But if you had a problem loading a game and you took it back for a refund, you could, you could get fucked. He was not interested. Especially when it wouldn't load at home, but then it would load in the store. You could really get fucked then. Uh, anyway, it says, if you believe that product is defective, please return it to Mr. Yates. Ooh. Ocean Software, blah, blah, blah. Um, hmm. So... That's that. Yeah, I've had my boots stop port rant. God, that was a. I mean, it's still still open, obviously, but it's just a <coughs> horrible place to go into. Especially if you go in, go by the side entrance, because then you get into some of the main parts of the store. Don't go into the front because you get stuck in the perfume area, and it's full of women who they'll go in and they'll stop at the at the. Uh, perfume section and they'll stop to open the handbag and chat and you'll get stuck and when the fumes the toxic fumes from the fucking perfume enter your head you will die if you're a man so yeah go in the side entrance it's you know although I'm not like I've got any reason to go there anyway so don't bother stop all town centres become a fucking hole anyway Half the shops are shut and the others aren't worth bothering with. Platoon! Da 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 da. So if we go, hmm, if we do it that way. Ooh. Yeah, kind of. But no, that's better. Oh, that's what you want to see. Platoon, that's a top. I mean, it's a top poster. And um, I think the graphics or the, the, the images there are from the Amiga version. But. Um, Certainly not the Spectrum one, but oh, it's a cracking quality poster. That definitely put that up. And we have two cassettes, not one, but two. First, we all come to see, as we'll expect, the game. If we get round to it, I might do like um video of playing the games uh, although obviously I'll have to play on emulators <coughs> and a tape of Tracks of My Tears by Smokey Robinson which is in the film if you know the film and if you don't know the film go and watch it now it's fucking awesome so two cassettes one poster one manual a competition that you can still win if you've got a TARDIS and go back in time, I need to win a video. 
I've not even got a video player set up anymore, so. <coughs> and a um, picture of the cast. Fantastic stuff. I think for all that, I paid about 22 quid, 23 quid, including postage. That was fucking awesome. So, um, yeah, absolutely fantastic. So, yeah. Um, so, I think it's Spectrum for Sale, the Facebook group, that um, I bought these through. But, yeah, it's oh, fantastic games. So, I with confidence. Thank you.